girls where they are. I just need a bit more time. For what? Well, you know, to reconnect with her, gain her trust. I meant to bob round for a coffee after. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, because she's definitely bound to blow the cover once she starts dunking her rich tea. Look, Harvey, I'm doing my best. Are you really? Of course I am. I promised my brother that I'd look after you, and I will. That's good. Because you, you'd be nothing you without my dad. You remember that. The house and the business and the clothes you've got on your back. He gave you everything you own. But now he's dead. So I could easily just take all that away. I know that. You finally had an Simon. So I can get him to change the evidence. And we can all live happily ever after. Can't we? You know, I just remembered. I think I left the immersion on. No, you didn't. You're making excuses. Don't you like us anymore, Elena? No, of course I do. And I would like to hang out with you guys, but... Good, because if you're going to be our new stepmom, then we've got some questions to ask you, haven't we, Ruby? Well, looks like you better strap yourself into the hot seat. <laughs> You like war movies, don't you? What was that um, horrible weapon that America dropped on North Vietnamese? Yeah, do uh, you mean Dev? Me? He does. He said words of mine. What? Hmm. Reckons if my parents cut you off, then you'll go running back to him like a good little girl. Well, are they? Cutting me off? I'm sorry. I try talking them out of it, but don't think they're too keen getting caught up in World War Three. Cowards. If he thinks I'm going to go crawling back to him, he can think again. He's going to get what's coming. It's napalm, by the way. No need to call me back, Seb. I'm assuming your little surprise went down well and you're um, otherwise engaged. <laughs> you can thank me later. <laughs> Are you looking so happy about? Crack open that bottle of single malt that you keep stashed in your desk drawer and I'll tell you. How do you know about that? Oh, I was looking for a hole punch. Hmm. Saving that for a special occasion. Well, this is it. We're back in the black. How do we take this much money today? All I've done is run round our current client list and ask for a down payment of 25%. I can pay the rest after the funeral. A death deposit? Well, I won't be marketing it as that, but... Yeah, I suppose it is. All the competitors do it. Well, it's not what we do. You don't go asking folk for money when they've just lost one of their loved ones. If you ask for it after you've buried them, what's the difference? Weeks. Sometimes. Folk need time to grieve. Right, you're going to call everyone back that you've contacted and offer them a refund. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Fine. Then I will. Hiya. Anyone home? Who are you? Oh, the front door's open, sorry. <laughs> I'm Sharon, Rita's foster daughter. Uh, I just popped round to see Gail. Me and her used to be right good pals back in the day. Yeah, we were thick as thieves, we were. Well, I'm my daughter-in-law. Oh, Shona. Right. Oh, Gail told me about your accident. What a terrible thing. Sorry, are you looking for something? What? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I was just admiring Gail's taste in uh, soft furnishings. Gail warned me that you sometimes misread situations. And sometimes I'm bob on. <laughs> so, is Gail not around? Her and David have taken the kids to the wreck, but she'll be back any minute. Oh. Mind if I hang on for it then? Mm, take a seat. Get a better look at the cushions. <laughs> Yeah, and you're just a sad old man who can't deal with the fact that his daughter doesn't need him anymore. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, honey, you do need me, don't you? Because you've got nowhere else to go. Oh, and whose fault is that? Yeah, 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 I know you what you hate me, yeah? Oh, hate doesn't cover yeah, it. And you wish I was dead and I ruined your life and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, the fact remains that you are home with your family where you belong. So I win, you lose. Deal with it. I would rather sleep in a park bench than live here with you. Deal with that. I'll talk to her. Take it you heard all that. 
So what particular park bench do you have in mind? Not fussed, as long as it's got a smart TV in the shower. What am I going to do? Well, it sounds like your dad really wants you home. Look, if you've come here to take his sign, then just forget it. All right, I've, I've got enough money for a night in the hostel. All right, chill out. I've sorted something. Miles better. But your dad's not going to like it. Really? OK, I'm sold. Have you come dressed as this time? An idiot. A very sorry idiot. I know you didn't mean to be hurtful, but making yourself up like that, it was like some horrible caricature of the way you see me. But I don't see you that way, like, at all. Really? It's what most people see. The clothes, the makeup. They think it's a fashion choice. A kind of two fingers up at the world. Like I'm deliberately trying to be offensive or ugly or weird. Well, aren't you? Like, just a little bit, like... No! So you just don't get it? Well, then explain it to me, OK? Cos I want to understand. I don't know if I can. Please, Nina. Come on, please. Being a goth is who I am. It feels as much part of me as my eye colour or my sexuality. Are oh, you were born that way? I don't think there's a goth gene, if that's what you mean. You're right. I don't really get it. When I was a kid, I was always a bit of a misfit. I knew I was supposed to be into Barbies and boy bands like the girls in my class, but I just wasn't. And then, when I was 10, my mum got sick. She was in and out of hospital for about five years. I watched this beautiful and blossoming woman wither and fade away right in front of my eyes. It was awful. But it was also a gift. There's so much pain and suffering in the world that could overwhelm a person. So I learned to find the beauty in that darkness. Even in death. It's a way of coping. I guess, but it also came really easily. Like, it made perfect sense to me. Why shouldn't the darkness be as beautiful as the light? Then I read a couple of Anne Rice novels and didn't look back. I got really into Bella Lugosi films, listened to The Cure, Fields of Nephilim. Then I got completely obsessed with bats, as you know. And then my parents started to change. Just little things at first, not like I went out and bought a costume. But for the first time ever, I felt comfortable in my own skin and empowered somehow. And not because I'd survived losing my mum, but because I was happy with being different. <laughs> Suppose it does sound weird when I say it out loud. No, no. No, no, it doesn't. I'm so sorry that I didn't stick up for you with Paul and Ed. You're the most amazing, unique and beautiful person that I know. I wish I'd just said that with a bunch of crappy flowers which is what I was going to do in the first place. Well, there's still time. Crappy flowers? Yeah. <laughs> Coming right up. I've been trying to get in touch with them. Curly Watts. Looks like where's Wally, 50 years old. Girls never mentioned him. Hmm. I wonder if she's got his number in her address book. Uh, did I see one somewhere over there by the phone? Oh, yeah, but it won't be in there. No, she only keeps that to doodling when she's on the phone to Audrey. She keeps all her contacts in a tablet. Well, strike me down. Gail's gone digital. Well, tea? Yeah.
Oh, Sharon? <laughs> How was the wreck? Uh, chaos. <laughs> Kids lost the new football to a border collie. David's taken them for a conciliatory milkshake. <laughs> what brings you here? Uh, I thought we could just have a coffee and a natter, but something's come up. Could we do it tomorrow instead? Have you said something to upset Sharon? Sorry, I'm a bit busy. No rest for the wicked, eh? Oh, that's where you're wrong. <sighs> you're coming the rovers with me. Jenny's doing us some free cocktails. No, I'd love to, but, um... Did you not hear me? Free cocktails! <sighs> Come on, Shatter. Never get out of the house. And Jenny's only doing us cocktails because she wants to show off in front of you. If I go on my own, then she'll give me slops from the drip tray. <laughs> And it'd mean a lot to Rita if she saw the three of us getting on. All right, then, but just a couple. Mm. Come on. Hey, uh, I was just coming to give you this. What is it? Your formal resignation as my best friend. I should have told you about Alina and Tyrone, Fitz. I'm sorry. Just think of this as a peace offering. It's, um... Family passed to Gulliver's World. <laughs> Been collecting tokens. That is the nicest thing. Oh, don't you look like you're gonna cry? <laughs> Sorry, I just, um... I've got this awful feeling that the girl's gonna fall in love with Lena too. What if they'd rather spend time with her than me? Hey, stop it, that's never gonna happen. Look at Disney films. The stepmother's always the villain, isn't she? And you know why? Because kids hate them. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Honestly, trust me, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Custard or cream? Custard. You know that. Fun fair or zoo? Uh, fun fair. Bikes or scooters? Scooters? All right, here's one. Anna or Elsa? Oh, that's a tricky one. Mm, I mean, all girls love Elsa, right? She's so pretty. But I think I prefer a girl with a bit more character. And Anna's definitely got more about her. So, Anna, yeah, she's my favorite. <laughs> well, does she pass? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Just one more question. Fire away. Do you love my dad? Hope? Yes, I love your dad. And I know it's a bit scary now, but... When you've got used to the idea, I think we're all going to have a lot of fun together. Eating custard and riding scooters. And fun fairs? Definitely fun fairs. <laughs> no, 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 no. <sighs> One, two, three, four. Yes! Ah! Not that tech savvy then. What? Uh, nothing. I was just wondering when them crisps will be ready. I could eat a scabby donkey. All right, sorry, I can't eat you over all the rustling. Here we are, ladies. Get your lips around these bad boys. Ooh. Ooh. Anyone for an onion ring? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could strip a door with that. It's a bend over, surely. Well, I'll be bent over a toilet bowl if I drink this. Is that where he gets his name from? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not that kind of bending, Gemma. <laughs> but before you say it, I'm sure Shirley wasn't into yoga either. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, if, if that doesn't float your boat, I could, uh, I, I could make you a, a pineapple screwdriver. Mmm, mm -hmm. now you're talking. <laughs> See? Told you it'd be fun. All work and no play makes... Jack a dull boy. Mm. Actually, Gemma, um, mm. I do need to make one last work call, so uh, you couldn't give me a couple of minutes, could you? All right, fine. I'll go to the little girls' room, but after that, yeah, I'm confiscating your phone. The number you 
are trying to call has been disconnected. Please try again. Pineapple juice has gone fizzy. What else tickles you? Is that young Sam? What are you doing with a photo of Nick's son? Uh, and that's exactly what I said. Oh, I had told him. But you know what these youngsters are like? They come along and they think they know better. But I must admit, this new initiative of his, it's ready on the well for us to deliver the very best customer service to our clients. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. And I'll see you next week at Patty's funeral. Bye-bye. I'm confused. I thought we were giving everyone the deposits back. No need, dear boy. I made the first call on the list and it seems Mrs. Butterworth's quite happy with the arrangement. <laughs> Called me a silly twit for making such a fuss. Really? Just like booking a hotel, she said. And I got much the same response from everyone else. So as much as it pains me, I do feel an apologies in order. I must have picked Gales up by mistake. <laughs> I mean, I only realised it wasn't mine when I switched it on and saw the photo. Uh, who did you say it was again, Nick's son? I mean, I didn't even know we had one. Oh, neither did Nick till about six months ago. Really? So he just went off with Leanne and left him behind? Yeah, it seems that way. You know, for a minute then, I thought you were a complete weirdo. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Look, I'd better take this back to Gail. If she's anything like me, she'll be lost without it. Tra. Look, he would have been shouting at the window all night if I didn't let him up. It's embarrassing. Yeah, just promise me that you won't let him talk you into going back. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm not going anywhere. Have you seen the size of that bath? Yeah, room for two, do you reckon? Uh, Bagsy, not the top end. <laughs> Sorry. Good to see it for myself. Yeah. Well, now you have. You can go. How'd you even get this place? Nick and Leanne gave up the lease. So his mum and dad took it over. Unlike you, they didn't want their son sleeping rough. Yeah. So you blackmailed them then? Pretty much, yeah. Well, he was right, you've landed on your feet. Not much left to say, is there? Dad, I'm around the corner. Yeah. But it just feels like you're miles away. I hope you're happy now. I think I preferred it when he was angry. No. He's trying to make you feel bad. But don't let him. Hey. I'm gonna look after you now, babe. Yeah, one good thing about joint custody, eh? Night's off from the kids. <laughs> Ruby, come on. Why now? We're waiting for you. Come on. Hi, Mum. Guess what? We're going to the fun fair at the weekend. What's it called again? Gulliver's World. I've been... Collecting tokens, right? Sorry, did I miss something? I thought we were going to wait. Yeah, we did. I'm sorry, it just happened. I'm getting pretty sick of hearing that excuse. Come on, girls, we're going home. Come on. Did we do something wrong, Mummy? Oh, no, sweetheart, I was just missing you, that's all. We missed you too. Well, Lena's nice, but she's an Elsa, not an Anna. Wow. They are crappy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, last one's in the bargain bin. Happy birthday. And I'm, I'm very, very sorry. It's me who should be sorry. I know you care about me, and I know you like me for who I am. Well, the thing is, I, um... I think it might be a bit more than like. Good, cos... I like you a bit more than like, too. So does this, 
Does this mean that? Then still move in. Mm. If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> You're Nick's son, aren't you? What are you looking at? There's a bee's nest under one of the roof tiles. You can see them coming in now. Wanna look? Um, I'm a bit squeamish around bees. I got stung when I was your age. They're only aggressive when they feel threatened. Oh, well. I was trying to swat it with my blue peter annual. <laughs> Did you know that when they get back to the nest, bees do a little dance to tell the other bees who were to go and find a nectar? So they're not searching in vain? Fancy that. Oh, hi, girl. I came back to bring you your tablet. Um, I picked it up by mistake. Nicked it more like. Ugh. Why would she do that? Same reason she was there earlier asking all them questions, being nosy. I'm telling you, she's up to something. Sorry about that. Mm. She gets some funny ideas. Don't worry about it. Oh, hey, are we still on for coffee tomorrow? Absolutely. Come on, Sam. Time for your tea. Sam, you know, I'd like to get to know you better, Sam. I think I could learn a lot from you. After a primary school teacher goes missing, an intense police surveillance investigation is set up in a tight-knit Manchester community. Brand new gripping crime drama starring BAFTA award-winning Noel Clark. Viewpoint begins right here, next. <laughs>